Welcome back to the Listen Up podcast, where we analyze a new album each week. I'm Jamie, and this week we've got me, Nick, you betcha, and Jordan. Crazy. This week we're going to be taking a look at Soul Insight by the Marcus King Band, released in 2015, and it was picked by me, Jamie. Um, so I picked this album because I like it a lot, and I'd been <laughs> listening to it for a while, and then... It, like, I, I was going to pick it the last time I chose an album, but then I don't remember why. But for some reason, I, I chose Coming Home instead by Leon Bridges. Yeah, I remember um, that. And then so I just pushed it to this week. So, I mean, I like this album, but I really just chose it. I, I don't even remember exactly why uh, I pushed it. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I wanted to go ahead and visit it. I like this album a lot. And I wanted to get it out of the way before what my next pick is going to be. Um, <clears throat> you know what your next picture? Yeah, I've already, 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 yeah, I've already got it planned it's out. Impressive. It's like the, Dang. it's like the MCU. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got, I've got the PCU. <laughs> Wait, the Boo. the L the LPPU. What is that? LPPU. Wait, no, that's that's a listen podcast, <laughs> podcast universe. <laughs> All right, never mind. I take it back. I'm, uh. Listen to podcast. Uh, it would be the lup. The lup. Two P's. The lup. The lup. Okay. Um, anyways. <laughs> yeah. After that, tangent. Did you guys, uh, were, were y'all familiar with either the band or the art? Wait. Oh my God. The album or the artist? Um, what? <laughs> I was the band or the artist. You already know I did not have any prior. <laughs> You condolences with know. either condolences wait yeah sorry I was trying to say that. you already know why I'm here because I haven't heard this album at all or the artist belt you already know you already know <laughs> I don't know what's going on <laughs> pretty much Nick, what, what, what about you Nick <laughs> I, I knew um, ain't nothing wrong with that um, okay jealous man mm-hmm and Rita is gone. I, I believe all of those are off of their other album, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're all off their. I think it's self-titled. I think the album's called "The Marcus King Band." It, it was still a good album. That's also a good one. <laughs> the Carcass Ming Band. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but um, uh, I hadn't listened to that album in a long time, and I didn't listen to it. This <laughs> I should have for comparison. <laughs> but, um, I totally thought uh, you were setting up to say like, and I checked it out again, and it was really good. But you just. Like, nope, still didn't. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, uh, with the sentence that I was gonna say, I was like, you know what? I really should have listened to it to <laughs> compare it. But um, from what I remember, uh, the songs that st- stood out more to me were were less rock influenced than than this album was. So it was, mm-hmm. it was cool to to at least see the the difference that was in my mind that I that I didn't uh, explore, <laughs> but that I should have. Explored. That is, that's pretty funny. Yeah, this one is um. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. Overall, this one's probably the most like blues rocky, super influenced mm-hmm. album. Um, and I think that also might be because this is their first one, and so yeah. I think like that this is this this album is them more leaning on their influences, and then by their next album, and then Carolina Confessions, their newest album, I think that's more like the sound that they want to create, which is more akin to. Honestly, it's pretty similar to kind of the feeling of the last track on this album, I Won't Be Here. Oh, that was, that was one of my favorite ones, so <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll have to check yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, it's it's more in, in that realm of things. I mean, there's a few that are in like the no decencies and keep moving, but for the most part, mm-hmm. it's probably more akin to um, kind of the, the softer side of this album. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, Get you a little, uh, little little fraudulent waffle in there. Fraudulent yeah. waffle, little some, some booty stain or uh, like what <laughs> song is? You this? gotta look. You gotta always watch out for Dave's apparition. You, know, you never know when you're gonna get haunted. <laughs> Don't want to die. Yeah, I think this is the first. 
album we've done that had just straight up just instrumentals on it, right? I was about to say, I was really? like, I was like, I think it, well, no, not all of it's instrumental, no, no, right? But yeah, there is some but this is like the first yeah, okay, album okay. that has yeah on it, I think. I think 100% you're right, Jamie, because I was Apart like, from, I was like, well, no, yeah, I think, I think, I think so. I think so also, because I, I was thinking, I was like, sometimes, like, by Fraudulent Waffle, I was like, yo, is this a new song, or is there, <laughs> like, just a bunch of, and then I re- slowly realized, after listening to the album, that it was like, oh, there's definitely, like, it, that there's, there's definitely yeah, instrumental yeah, in here, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy this kind of music, like, blues rock influenced jam bands, I, I don't know. I dig it quite a yeah. lot. Like, um, very like. This is more. It sounds like harder rock, but it, at essence, it's still the same influences as stuff like the Allman Brothers and Government mm-hmm. Mule and stuff. I mean, this is just a a more, just a dirtier sounding, uh, evolution of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really like that kind of stuff. Like, um. Another one that comes to mind right now is the Tedeschi Trucks band. Yeah. And they're on their studio cuts, they're more jam centered but live. I, I saw both of them live at the same show and um out here a couple years ago. And <clears throat> live it was it was a lot more it was much more similar. Like the studio cut on here, they kind of jam in it, especially in like those instrumentals, but live, I mean it's just them doing the same thing. Just jamming and having a great time, but it's fun. It feels it's a it's a very um, to me it's a very like real feeling music. I guess if that if that makes sense. Because yeah. uh-huh. if you're just jamming, yeah. even on like you know it could be the tenth take of a song, but if all of them are just different enough, then it's pretty much like a fresh take. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like there's. Uh, in this kind of music, there's typically a lot more of the, um, like, um, the energy kind of fluctuates a lot more on a per track and per album basis. It, it feels like it, it covers a wider spectrum of uh, emotion and sound to me, which I really like. Um, I got you. Yeah, I mean, and that was one of my one of my overall things about this album. Why I chose it in particular over the other ones is because it it showcases the 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 varied abilities of the band i mean because you go from like super chill music to then like absolute like face melting solos yeah (laughs) and all in in only 12 tracks on the album i think like 56 minutes i it's it's a very eclectic 56 minutes which i really like i like how prominent like um how it's not just guitar like there's also yeah. like prominent organ solos or and and then like the horn section and them coming in and stuff like that and it, it keeps the whole album feeling very like lively to me um <clears throat> okay so this is actually at the point where jordan's audio got corrupted so we talked for probably another around 20 to 25 minutes about the album um, but it just wasn't very salvageable with the conversations that we had. So what I'm going to have to do is now um, we'll go ahead and talk about the ratings, and then we'll wrap up the album. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I guess, uh, I guess we'll get into the ratings. And yeah, so I'll actually go last again i'm not picking again but we have a little surprise um so i guess whichever one of you can can start with the rating okay <laughs> i'll give it a um i'll give it a solid a solid seven okay i enjoyed it a lot gotcha jordan what about you sir jordan gave it a three out of ten i gotcha um i'll probably i'll give it an eight i would say like probably it'd probably be higher without the instrumentals like i said i don't like hate them but that is like the low point for me um and that brings us to a flat six which is not last but i don't think it's far from it (laughs) 
Uh, well, apparently, uh, we hate your music. <laughs> um, yeah, so that puts it. Oh God, uh, we have so many now. I can't. I. Right. Um, it's fifth from last. Um, it is above Willie and below <laughs> No Worries. Okay. I'm surprised no worries is that low. Yeah. Huh. I, oh. Bruh. When you get that one a four. Bruh. Um. That's actually you're the you're the reason why it's above it because uh I gave it a seven and it gave it an eight so it would be the same. Um, but you gave it a four <laughs> instead of a three. Um. That's funny. But yeah, so then next week we are actually we're gonna take a one week, probably. Yeah, probably one week break from doing our normal cycle. So instead of uh, instead of Jordan picking the next one, next we are going to do a special episode. We're going to have our first guest on the podcast, mm-hmm. um, a friend of mine. And Nick, did you ever meet him? D- do you know him? Uh, yeah, you do, kind right? Of, kind of by association through you and yeah. We- I know we had drafting in high school. Together, <laughs> oh, I think. I, I I remember. I can't remember if he switched out or if I switched out. Yeah, I just remember talking to him in drafting. Okay, a, a couple of times. Um, for sure. Yeah, it's a friend of mine and uh, an associate uh, of or an acquaintance <laughs> of Nick's. Um, yeah. But it's his name's Jesse, and he's going to be on, and we are going to do. An Awesome Wave by Alt J. Um, mm-hmm. It's and it's good. Yeah, I like it. Um, I'm, I'm excited to listen. We're primarily doing it because, like, that's that's one of the bands that, like, when I asked him in particular, like, you know, we're trying to work this out because because believe it or not, audience, we do have friends, um, <laughs> and we're trying to get some guest spots on it. And that's the one that. Um, he said he liked Alt J, and I really like that album. Um, and I thought that I thought that of their their body of work, it probably would be the most approachable. Um, don't because Jordan, we're gonna get a little weird. <laughs> we're gonna get a little weird with this album. Yeah, but but prepare. You know, this one's put your little indie artsy hat back on. We're revisiting. Uh, it's going to get interesting. But yeah, and I like it. Um, so yeah, we are going to do that next week, and then we'll be back with whatever Jordan chooses after that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess uh, we can pretty quickly knock out what we've been listening to. Um, for me, it was this album. Honestly, I don't remember. It's been it's been a weird week for me. I have listened to Long stuff. Violent History, man. Yeah, Long Violent History by Tyler Childers. That was a that was a delightful surprise on Friday when it came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, yeah, I've been, and I've been listening to a lot of Purgatory. I've been listening to a lot of that album Heck again. Yeah. Back on back on my Childers grind. I said, someone uh, someone commented to to Sturgill today on Instagram and said something about. Um, I think Sturgill congratulated Tyler uh, about the the reception of his new album mm-hmm. and I'm and, uh, talking about how Tyler was like, uh, was like j- just a little nervous about like putting himself out there and, um, and Sturgill, like uh, Sturgill talked to him and was like, Hey man, like now's the time when we need to like speak up and stuff. And, and, um, and they're, they're kind of like the, the woke Americana outlaw brand country of today. Yeah. In they, my eyes. They're men, uh, they men is cool. Yeah, and Jason Isbell and like Chris Stapleton, and um, and I think they they said I can't even remember her name right now. Margot Price. Uh, mm-hmm. He mentioned her in his comment too. But um, someone commented on the post and said like, like Long Violent History is like a hell of a lot better than his overproduced last album, and Sturgill was the main producer on it. <laughs> he like commented on Sturgill's post and said that, and Sturgill commented back to that guy and said like. Like you know, Tyler was there when we recorded that, right? Like you, what? You, like you're just insulting us, like right now. What? What? What's the point? But yeah, it was, it was fun. 
I listened to I listened to Sound and Fury uh, again this week. It was good. That's a Sturgill Simpson album. Um, I mean, wait, Jamie, you were done, right? Yeah, yeah, I was done. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, Fleet Foxes came out with a new album like, okay. today, and on on a Tuesday of all days, which is interesting. Weird. But yeah. I, I think it was I think it they wanted to release it on what's it called the fall equinox or whatever the day that fall officially starts. yeah the 21st yeah i'm usually not like a huge fleet foxes guy but i i enjoyed it when i listened to it today i like their stuff i th- i think yeah. uh from what i've heard <laughs> it's uh-huh. kind of it's yeah i'm familiar with them I, I like their stuff yeah and i've also i felt a little like you this week jordan um just because i know you listen to a lot of songs on repeat a lot and uh, I've been listening to to DNA quite a bit over the past like two weeks. I've Kendrick been doing Lamar. that. I've been doing that with a uh, White House Road, and I swear to God. <laughs> Heck yeah! All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll take her home then. If y'all are if y'all are satisfied with that, we're all good. Um, yeah, we just want to say thanks again for listening this week, and remember to tune in next week. We're going to be taking a look at an awesome wave by Alt J and being joined by Jesse. So. Uh, It'll be cool. Hopefully it's not a complete shit show, so we'll see. Um, you know, be sure to listen to that album so you can kind of have your own thoughts and, I guess, mentally join in the discussion. Um, you know, feel free to either leave a comment about your thoughts on this week's album on YouTube, or you can also tweet them at us. We're on Twitter at, at ListenUpPod, and that account as well as our personal handles are in the description of wherever you found this podcast. Um, you know, we also ask that if you enjoyed this episode, if you could leave a rating or review wherever you found it, um, it kind of, kind of helps us out. And, uh, for now we'll catch you next week and remember to listen up. Mm-hmm.